All right, I am very late to the party on this review, but I actually had gone and saw this on premiere night, but unfortunately, I just didn't get around to making a review until now. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, Evil Dead Rise is the fifth film now in this franchise. Fun fact, it was originally supposed to be released on HBO Max, but critics and avid fans loved it so much that it got a theatrical release, and boy am I glad it did, because it's really good. Initially, I was expecting to go into this film without seeing the other previous Evil Dead movies, but thanks to my good friend Cuban Pete, he convinced me it was absolutely worth it seeing the other ones before going in, and let me just say that they're all a really good time. The first three Evil Dead films were notably groundbreaking for its time, and as far as entertainment goes, they all still hold up very well to this day. Evil Dead 2013 soft rebooted the franchise, and while it didn't bring anything new to the table, it's still a very thrilling film. Arguably, Evil Dead Rise doesn't bring much new to the table in terms of expanding the franchise, but what it does do instead is provide a very new version of this concept in a completely different location with a completely different style of cast. We are introduced to a struggling family of four and a questionably messed up sister. Currently, they're, they are in the process of moving out when, lo and behold, an earthquake takes place and shortly afterwards, one of the kids finds the Book of the Dead. As you should know, the rest after that is history. Now, like myself, if you were worried that this was going to be the Scream 6 of Evil Dead, it is absolutely not. This movie does not hold back. Not just in terms of kills, but it is probably the bloodiest Evil Dead movie yet. Eye trauma, head trauma, vomit, bugs, broken glass, broken bones, decapitation, dismemberment, stab wounds, shock and blast, sharp ob objects going straight through the soft palate and out of the back of some of the head. Name a form of grievous bodily harm, and this movie has it. It's bonkers how far they took this, and there isn't a moment where I'm just not having the time of my life. But there is no denying that this movie, of course, has its issues that really keep it from surpassing the other Evil Dead films. For one, a lot more time is needed to set up the film's deviations from the classic Cabin in the Woods formula, which at times almost gets rid of that simplicity that made Evil Dead so easy to pick up each time. This is mostly an issue in the first act, and there are a lot more dilemmas that each character must incorporate into the first act before the ball really gets moving. There's also this really lame pregnancy setup with the sister that pretty much goes nowhere after the first 20 minutes. It's a subplot that probably could have been rearranged in something a bit more simple, like a failing road trip gig would have worked much better because that was actually a huge part of the opening scenes. So I don't know, something like that would have just been a much more buttery way to move things along in my opinion. But apart from that, it's a genuinely creepy film. No, I'm not suggesting it's super scary or anything, but I wouldn't be lying if some scenes made me genuinely uncomfortable. Something that was also pulled off very well in Evil Dead 2013. I think the Scream franchise could really take notes from this film, because it does not hold back. If you wanted all the kids to survive, forget it. If you were hoping they'd be brought back to life at the end, forget it. This movie has suspense. There are genuine stakes that really remind you of franchises that were able to just go, nah. Let's just make this impactful. Let's creep the crap out of people. So thank you, Evil Dead Rise. I had a great time, and I highly recommend watching this, whether it's at home or in a theater with recliner chairs. Either way, definitely check it out. Also, make sure to check out my letterbox if you want to see my ratings on all current films. Until next time, take care.